Wagwan lads, in this video you're going to learn how to adjust the XL lads NBA model to factor in whether a player is injured, unavailable to play, or is going to have reduced playing time. If you haven't seen the first video on how to build the NBA model, see the first link in the description. Otherwise, let's get cracking. In this matchup, I have the 76ers playing the Heat, where the 76ers are favourites and there's an expected scoreline of 119 to 105. However, Philadelphia's likelihood of winning would obviously decrease if one of their star players, say James Harden, was injured, and instead a bench player such as Meldon had to fill in. So now lads, I'm going to show you how to factor this into the model. Alright, head over to the play working tab, this is where we're going to make our changes. To account for injuries, you have to manually adjust a player's minutes played in this column and match it with the actual player in column A. I'm going to pull up the ESPN injury list for each team in the simulation. You can find this link in the description of this video. And this is what I'll base my minutes adjustments on. For our first example, PJ Tucker, he is not ruled out of the game, but he has a questionable injury. Therefore, I'm choosing to reduce his minutes from 25.6 to 20. How we do this, or how I like to do it, highlight the cell, and then just type in 20 over the top of the formula and because the cells highlighted we know that we've made that change so we can change it later when we want to revert want to revert it back to the original formula let's do the same thing for Melton I want to reduce his minutes from 28 to 19.8 just right over the top of the formula and press enter now lastly for Maxi I'm going to if we scroll right we can see Maxi's the starting shooting guard meaning if his minutes are reduced significantly another shooting guard's minutes in this case Shake Melton will have to rise to compensate for this injury so this time I'm going to decrease Maxi's minutes to 25 and at the same time increase Milton's minutes to 27 making him the starting shooting guard 27 enter we're writing over the formula. That's all we need to do. Great. And now we can see Milton has leapfrogged Maxi into the starting shooting guard position. Now, before we do the exact same thing for the away team lads, if you have any questions about this video or any other Excel lads model, make sure you subscribe and follow me on Twitter. By DMing me on Twitter, it helps me personalize the solution to your sports modeling problems so that your models work and work well. Back to the video now lads and let's do the exact same thing for the Miami Heat. So I'm going to pull up their injury list and instantly I can see that Nikola Jovic has been completely ruled out of the game. So I can simply highlight his cell as usual and replace his minutes played formula with a big fat zero meaning he plays absolutely no part in this simulated game. For Adebayo, as it's only a questionable injury, I'm going to reduce his minutes slightly to 31.2. And I'm choosing to do the same thing for Kyle Lowry. By the way, lads, you don't have to adjust a player's minutes if you still think he's going to play a full game. I'm just doing this as an example for you. So let's adjust Lowry's minutes by writing over the formula 28.7. Great. But if we slide right across, we have a slight problem. Lowry and Struess have the exact same minutes. This is a problem for the model as it double counts the minutes. So I'm going to go left again and marginally adjust Lowry's minutes by 0.1. This way the ranks are now different and Lowry's simulated impact on the game is not materially affected. Now lads, we can head over to the results tab and see the impact of the player's change in minutes on the final predicted result. Right now, the simulations that take into account the new play minutes are still loading, so we can expedite the process by going into the data tab above and then clicking on this icon here, which is refresh all. That'll refresh every piece of data in the entire file, including our simulations. So this may take a bit of time to load, especially because there's a lot of data in this particular model. And great, now we can see Philadelphia's win chances dropped slightly since the start of the video while the heats have risen due to our change in play in minutes. We can further double check the validity of our results by making sure both teams have only 240 minutes played of simulated game time, which is the case here, as you can see on the bottom right of your screen. Do the same thing for the away team. Yep, so it's all good for both the Heat and the 76ers. Now, since the Heat have around a 25% chance of winning, I'm going to show you, lads, the effect of Tyler Hero being injured. So go back into the player working tab and adjust his minutes played to zero. So click on his cell. Highlight it to make sure you don't forget it's being um, overrided. 
Put it over the top of the formula with a big fat zero. And then press enter. Now since Oladipo is the next shooting guard in line, I'm going to increase his minutes because most likely he's going to play more filling Hero's workload. And now lads, if you go back into the results worksheet, the model is updated and promoted Oladipo to the starting lineup. Now that the results of the simulations have come through, we can see that Hero's absence from the squad reduced Miami's winning chance to only 10% which is, of course, consistent with common sense. He's one of their best players. So, lads, now that I'm done with this simulation, I want all my formulas to go back to normal for the next simulated match I want to choose. So, lads, go back into the Play Working Worksheet and click on a cell which hasn't had its formula written over the top of it and auto-fill it up to the first player on the squad. This will get rid of all the manual entries on the squad, and every player now plays the minutes they have been averaging throughout the entire season, and which is what is grabbed by the formula. And if you go back into the results worksheet and refresh your data once more, the expected results should revert back to approximately what they were at the start of the video, which is 76% and 23% in the 76's favour, which is virtually what it was at the start.